everyone, I'm Kendra, and this summer we are getting kids outside. Today we are taking on the role of engineers. We're going to create something both practical and fun. This week we are going to be building a shelter outside. To do that, we are going to be going through the six steps of the engineering process. Now, if you're a family and you're just looking for super simple, here's what you do. Go outside, build a tent. Now, I am not talking about pulling one out from the garage. I want you to think about it like a fort that you would make inside your living room. Come up with some materials that you think could help you build a tent right outside your own home. Remember, the goal here is simple STEM, very easy. If your goal is just quality family time, just get outside, build a tent, build a shelter, have fun. However, I did have quite a few teachers and homeschooling parents reach out that were interested in our little summer project. So that's where I decided to go a step further. If you are one of those parents or teachers, use these resources to help your students learn the engineering process. But don't feel like you have to if you're just a family at home. Simple STEM, get outside, have fun. Now, if you want to make it educational, take it a step further, take a look at the steps. I have included a link of some extra pages that can go in your nature journal. Remember, if you haven't received your nature journal, head on over to the nature journal video. I'll link that as well so that you can get that free printable. So let's get started. The first step for any engineer is to define the problem. The problem is we need shelter. Step two in the engineering process is to do your research. What information do you need to be successful in solving your problem? What have other people done to solve this problem in the past? Step three is to design your solution. Now you might want to just talk it through as a family. How do you want to create your shelter? Or you could each pull out your little design sheet and sketch out what you think the shelter should look like. Okay, what supplies do you gather for your tent, Shane? Okay. You need two sheets? So you have one, and then what else do you have? Uh, Seth, what do you have? A stick. A stick. Great. Yes. Step four of the engineering process is to build your prototype. Now, for this activity, we're going simple, right? We're not gonna build a prototype inside and then go outside and build it, no. Let's just skip that. Go ahead, build your tent, build your shelter. Maybe you guys are really handy and you can actually build a standing structure. That would be cool. Uh, but that's beyond what I'm able to do. We just used a sheet and some stick. Take a look at what me and my toddlers did building our shelter. another tool to make it stand up. What do you think we should use, Shane? This. All right, let's try it. Step five is to test it. Test your shelter. Is it holding? You will see when we made ours, it fell down a lot. Take a look. It looks like if we lean this part against the tree, it falls off the other branch. Is there another spot that's closer that we could lean it up against? Up there? Okay, let's try it. Help me, help me lean this against here. Yeah, to take it down, should we rebuild that so that the wider spot is at the top? Let's try it. What 
you think, Seth? How's it coming? Good. Good. This end looks a little low. Let's try raising it up. Once you have a shelter that is standing, it's time for the final step, which is to evaluate your problem solving. So the problem was, we need shelter. Now answer the question, how have you been able to solve the problem? Does it work? Does it stay? Will it solve the problem over time? I hope you guys have fun doing this week's simple STEM activity. Remember, hit subscribe and every Friday I will post another simple STEM activity to get the kids outside. Yeah.